Aloha, my friends and family and enemies, and welcome back to my channel, Trey's Myths and Tunes, and my show, Trey's Timeless Now. And on this glorious sun's day, I have the gnarly and tragic duty of making a, a strong connection here to tie all my teachings together, this the do weapon hidden this tree back down. The narcissist prepares you for death's spin cycle. It's the same thing, the same energy. The more narcissistic they are, the more NPD they have, the more they become possessed by these narcissistic predator entities. The more you can deal with that without it killing you or destroying your dreams and healing from that, the more ready you may be for the forced reincarnation of the um, of Lucifer and the Archons when you die, when you make it through the through the through death spin cycle, the attempted forced reincarnation. These dreams they open up my eyes. Every moment of your life is a chance to awaken to the Christ. These dreams will open up my heart. Every moment I'm alive, there's a chance to reawaken to the divine inner goddess Christ. The narcissist, though, the false, are fake our fake god prepares us for the big fake god after death trying to make it force you to reincarnate back into a slave family and suffer all over again and they say you can't even feel remember how horrible it felt i've been checking out wayne bush's material and you know what? Um, I would say that God is the original and biggest narcissist, okay? As far as Father God, okay? He created narcissistic personality disorder naturally. And, of course, what I call NPEs, narcissistic predator entities, and uh, the psychotic, narcissistic or sociopathic psychotic personality disorders and narciss narcissistic killers and spread them everywhere. Really, um, Lucifer and... R really, Lucifer only creates war, slaves, and religious nightmare fairy tales. That's what all of the religion, you know, beside Buddhism and shamanism, the only ones I promote, or they're not religions, but the only spiritual institution traditions that I promote, Buddhism and shamanism, they're not really promoting these religious nightmare fairy tales. Um, the care actor of Yahweh is very similar, you know, look at um, to what's happened in more recent times um, our junior gods have done. And so Judaism, Christianity, Muslim, Catholic, the mainstream media, Basically, what we're going to see in the near future is, uh, you know, people are going to become shocked when they see that, when they discover real, the real blatant truth eventually, sooner or later, everyone, that um, it's all Luciferian heroics, f feminism, the S Saturn death cult, um, or the scientism death cult, I call it, um, they, all of them, they all stem from the same myopic, selfish, blood-drinking, false junior god reality rulers who made the matrix okay they they force you they attempt to terrify you or make guilt trip you after death into reincarnation reincarnating and then you know wipe your memory at some point and so just like the narcissist just like the narcissist predator the covert narcissist or the overt any of them Anyone who has that really bad, they'll try to um, force you to do their will through 
uh, vampirically sucking the negativity, you know, as much as they enjoy the positive energy, they, they feed off your energy, whether it's good or bad. And so, you know, I, I love this, this show. I love this work and I'll never give up. And uh, one thing I love about YouTube is, you know, I've, you know, as, as obnoxious of a black hole as it sometimes can be with some of these young people that don't really know what they're talking about. And I'm sure people think that I'm, this video might fit that category because I'm not an expert. I'm not an official. This is not official advice. I'm not, I don't have a degree in psychology, although after studying, um, you know, the inventor of this disorder, Sam Vaknin and... Um, someone he's not on speaking terms with Richard Grannon and Dr. C and Romani I've, I've learned so much about how to heal this in the last year it made me consider that to become a, a psychologist who specializes in this problem but um you know there's other people on here who talk about the the Saturn moon matrix memory wipe reincarnation thing and there's other people who talk about aliens, but I'm the only one, I'm one of the few who's, you know, there's about 12 of us on the whole YouTube thing who will talk about all this stuff and, and admit that it's all the same thing, okay? It's possession by Lucifer when people get narcissistic personality disorder really bad. They're possessed by the devil or Lucifer. They, they're they co completely controlled by the ego, the little me, the predat predatory little me. So... But, um, you know, I love this work and I'll never give up, but YouTube wants you to think I'm a crazy masochist who keeps doing this with no audience, right? Because, you know, they ob obey the, f the fallen um, rulers. Imagine uploading 360 videos full of truth and healing to be put in, in a hidden electronic room or vacuum, you know, you know shadow band. Because I dared to ask if Yahweh is a narcissistic predator entity, you know, and they, they, they will not share my videos with people unless they get in the habit of watching it. So type in my name if you want more and watch it. I was shadow banned because YouTube is secretly a coward, um, a covert narcissist. Is How about a comment on that? What do you guys think? Is YouTube, since Google and CIA moved in and took, you know, started censoring things, does that make it a covert narcissist? It's secretly, um, predatorily, through shadow banning, trying to control the, the reality, just like a covert narcissist would, to go along to get along in a secretly, extremely rude way. Um, insisting, of course, the thing is set up um, in a Babylonian style, insisting I can comp compete against everyone else, Many who know the programming, as much as I love YouTube, I mean, many who know the programming, animation, and graphic design skills, you know, people who can, you know, really, they're really great um, video artists, actually, you know. Like Dr. Bruce's son, um, the video shaman I was just watching, he's, he does a great job. But often, you know, they're, the people that do really well on YouTube are younger, cuter, and smarter people. Some of them with books out or degrees, but you know, a lot of the ones that are just cute and young, they they don't even have much to say. It's just, you know, how attractive they are, or how how much you know. Often it's the uh, how compelling the people are, the the charisma. The the most popular YouTubers um, often will self censor to the point of al almost saying nothing or talking in code half the time. The cool ones will just try to talk in code. But what's crazy is is my friend, um, my new friend that they that YouTube turned me on to, Chuck Swindoll, can openly speak out explicitly against the medical mafia and and not get kicked off. But if I, but I can't because he writes books. His dad was famous, etc. But if I, the guy in the in the forest who refuses to get a cell phone, I'll be kicked off for a month if I start talking about the medical mafia. The um, the Western because it'll be my second strike, or third strike. The Western churches, okay, the governments, the mainstream media, social media, and YouTube are all controlled by, guess what, narcissistic psychopaths pretending to share information. Why? Because um, they're all financially lubricated by Lucifer's people, okay? Literally, it's not an exaggeration or theory or conspiracy. Um, was... Was was Jimi Hendrix, uh, Martin Luther King Jr., Max Spears, 
Were they suicidal and wrong for what they did? No, it's kill the messenger. They were, they were living their dreams and speaking the truth, so they were taken out. And they want you to think. They want you to think. All the Dark Lords, people that are um, censored and try to control the perspective and shadow ban, they want you to think that they were suicidal, but they were suicided because they had too much love and truth. Fake suicides, martyrdom, and the cross were done for obvious perceptual control with fear of death. That's right. They killed them, or they took, killed them with drugs and hung them, uh, shot them, because they wanted you to believe that you're, if you speak out the truth, you will be you know, martyred, hung, killed. YouTube wants you to receive tiny bits of censored Chinese water torture style drip disclosure. You know, they'll tell you, let you have a few tidbits of juicy information in a really beautiful, sexy animation. Tiny amounts of pedestrian surface level truths framed in hypnotizing images. That's what gets millions of views on YouTube animations and so i need to learn more programming if i want to take it more seriously myself um, and uh, I, as far as trying to get views and ideally a, a very attractive young psyop non-player character npc agent pretending to be enlightened throwing you scraps of wisdom from the Tao Te Ching or, or some buddhist or some shamanic knowledge knowing knowing some of my story my former Housemate, brother, and mother have all tried to make me much smaller, cut me down to size. Uh, you know, because a being with no respect making you do things to harm yourself for their benefit, whether it's the government or God, are slave masters. And it's not righteous. Obedient is the biggest virtue to the reptilians for a reason, so that we'll have endless war. And um, they have to try to cut me down to size because the nar person with narcissistic personality feels like nothing themselves. They feel like a black hole. If I'm successful, um, this is why some of them can't ever watch my channel. If I'm successful, it just it pains them with terrible jealousy. Yeah. Um. YouTube personalities are very compelling, but they usually say very little. Um, in war abuse, it starts with love. Uh, in war, as well as narcissistic abuse, it starts with love bombing. Okay, That's when they just shower you with love and give you all the most things that you dream of or praise you as a god. They act like you're a god temporarily. You could compare this to the pre-life idea that you will reincarnate with free will and choose like... The Archons, the Demiurge, Lucifer, Yahweh, the Elohim, they're waiting there and to, saying, come to the tunnel of the light and the moon, and they hologramically project your relatives, and then um, they proclaim that you, you know, they try to give you a horrible guilt trip and then proclaim you have free will to re re try to encourage you to reincarnate and make you feel horrible about the, the, the wrongs you did and try to, just like the narcissist. So it really, if you know how to deal with the narcissist, it really does prepare you for this shit because it's the same exact principle of this person that thinks they're God up in your face trying to play God and mess you up and put you down into hell or reincarnate, reincarnate into a slave family in, in the case of so-called God. Then comes the devaluation and discard after they pretend that it's uh, you're all in this loving realm of love and light and they give you all the wonderful things you want. Then they treat you like shit, and then they tell you how horrible you are. Do you think I'm extremely masochistic? Do you think my video, do you think I, I make fill um, 12 pay, um, books of notes just to give, like play these videos for five or ten people? No, it's a joke. That's what they want you to think and me to think. Stubbornly mentally independent, maybe. They had to beg me for years to become financially dependent because I had... And several deadly illnesses I finally accepted so financial dependency and being supposedly a crazy person in an attempt using hate speech I promote love speech actually the YouTube CIA 
employees refuse to treat me like an individual, but I have I love them. These Nazis think they must minimize me my wisdom. How dare I question Yahweh? Love you, family. <laughs>